was afraid to love and a heart that was big with me thought it brave with each unhappy ending so I never wrote the story to read I stumbled as a moving target living my days on the run doorways and overpass abilities dodging bullets in slow Trigger of your love Shoot stronger than I've ever known And with a steady hand you never fumble Letting light into my trembling soul And now I'm breathing in the moment Told me to leave Cause you just wanna be alone You lie on the floor Deleting pictures from your phone I know I said I'd never do this again But here I am Asking for another chance I know it ain't easy Baby, believe me But I can't sleep Wondering if you still dream of me As some of the boys swept you off of your feet Am I the one that drops you out And just can't complete Oh darling, I just can't sleep Oh, you belong with me I made you believe I'd be just fine on my own Thinking of you, baby, when are you coming home? I know you said you never want this to end, so here I am asking for another chance. I know it ain't easy, baby, believe me, but I can't sleep. Wondering if you still dream of me, as some other boy swept you off of your feet. 
Still dream of me. Some of the boys swept you off of your feet. Am I the one who drives you out? I just can't compete. Oh, darling, I just can't sleep. Oh, oh you belong with me. Baloney? What do you say? Oh, belong with me. Baloney. <laughs> I thought he said baloney. I mean, with that enunciation, you might as well say baloney. Thank you. Aw, oh, come on. Mama Vicka. All right, well. Well. How you guys doing? What's up? It is Tuesday. I feel like this week should be over already. Um, but it's not! It just started. I'm here. I am so fucking tired. I went to bed just about on time. Slept until my alarm, got up. And I was reading on the couch, and I was just like, I'm so exhausted, so I like slept for another few hours. It's just a repeat of Saturday. Like, that's every time that I've had time to, like, chill out, I've just gone into complete hibernation. And I'm not usually a person who can nap. To be fair, I don't, like, actually, like, I barely lose consciousness, so it's not really restful. I just, like, cannot keep my eyes open, so what am I going to do? So, I feel like I wasted my whole day because I spent a lot of it sleeping. I did spend a lot of it reading, which was nice, because I've got a uh, vaginal fantasy tonight. So I have to finish the book by then. I'm up to 81% of the book. Um, which is great, considering I only got it, like, Friday? So I've done a, I've done a lot of reading. You just took a nap as well. I hope you feel nice and rested. I don't know what rested feels like anymore. So that's about where I'm at. Um, other than that, did I have anything to tell you guys? Um, I don't think so. Last night after stream, I did dishes, made dinner, as I usually do. And then, um, I finished the last episode of Scrubs. I had pretty much, I'd never seen season 8, because season 7 was the, white, the writer's strike. And things got really weird in TV. And then I just kind of lost track. Like, I just never saw the rest of the episodes live. So then I just, like, never saw them. Um, and I have all the seasons on DVD, so I went through 1 through 6, which I have watched ad nauseum. 7, which I had seen while it aired, so I was, like, vaguely familiar with some of those episodes. Or, like, moments from those episodes. And then I cracked the plastic on season 8. I'd never watched it. I don't even know how long I've had the DVD for, but I never even bothered taking the plastic off. And watched the whole thing. It wasn't very good. But then, of course, I get to the last episode, and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I got a little weepy. Um, so now I have to figure out what I'm going to, so that was my rewatch. And when I rewatch, what I've been doing is 
if there isn't a stream that I want on in the background, normally if I'm watching a stream, I want to be engaged in chat. There's very few cases where that's not accurate. Um, so like that takes my full attention. If I'm watching a stream, that's what I'm doing. Um, but if I'm like working on stuff, like scrubs I had seen so many times, I didn't even need to like look at the screen most of the time. Um, because I saw it in my head happening just as it, because I've seen it so, so many times. So it was like a background kind of a rewatch until I, <laughs> oh. until I got to season eight. Um, so now I'm like, ooh, what's my next rewatch? And, uh, I picked the guild, which I don't have all of the seasons on DVD, but I think you can still get them all online. But I, I just popped in seasons one and two on my PC. And that in total is only like a few hours of content, even if you watch the whole thing. Because I don't know if you guys know the guild, which you should. Also, let me say hi to all of you. <laughs> Rude. Wraith Dagger, Amero Beeps, thank you for being a patron of the Hive for 25 months. I hope you enjoyed your parade, and here's your royal salute. And bread, and toasty, and tech scout, and wormy, and BCW. And a hyper owl, lurkers, meerkats, friends, the court of the hype at large. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. How are you all doing? Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know the guild, it was a show created by Felicia Day. IMDb her if you don't know who she is. Um, this was before Geek and Sundry was a thing on YouTube. She made episodes and like Xbox bought them, so they used to only be on Xbox. And my dad showed them to me. And each episode was like between five and eight minutes. I think the longest episode, even as the show progressed and moved on, was like maybe 15 or 16 minutes. So you can watch all of it within a few hours. It's really, really good if you have not seen it. I believe you can still go to watchtheguild.com and like the episodes are there or it'll link you to YouTube, like one of the two things. Um, so I figured I could just bing, bang, boom, toss that on while I'm like making dinner and stuff. And uh, that'll be my next rewatch. And then I got to pick between Buffy, Friends, How I Met Your Mother, and Xena, but I don't have all of Xena either. So I will have to stop at some point if I start with Xena. The stream trial as black holes matter. Too much, <laughs> a little too much brittle hollow. I know, right? Stores <laughs> for the cash. So you can get quarters. You got pizza? Hell yeah. That's totally worth it. Maybe I'll treat myself to food this week. The chances of me remembering to do that are slim. Also, I had I bought more yarn. Whenever I buy something for myself, I'm like, okay, well you thought you were gonna treat yourself to something, but you already did, you bought yarn. But that yarn's not exactly for me. Shh, 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 doesn't matter. Shh, shh, shh. Ooh, that reminds me. I sent my mom a package and I wanted to make sure she got it because it has my clothes in it. Specifically, it has my loser jacket. And if that gets lost, I will cry. I will probably bawl. Because I've had... It was my mom's jacket before. Like, when I was little. And then I wore it all the time, so it was essentially mine. So I've had it since I was... I don't know if she let me wear it when I was in elementary school. Probably, though. So either elementary, but definitely junior high. I wore it all the time. I still wear it all the time. But the loser, it ha it's embroidered and it says loser on it. Actually, it, for those of you who may have seen any of my Twitch Sings videos from a little bit ago, I was wearing it. It says Sub Pop on one side and then loser on the other, but you can't read loser anymore. And I don't trust anybody else to redo it. So I sent it to my mom and I wanted to... Hey, did you get my package? I wanted to make sure that she got it. I think I might still have a slip with tracking, but Ooh. I've been meaning to text her 
for like the last couple of days. And I keep forgetting. This is what happens if I don't write it down or don't do it immediately. So it's like, la 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 la, it's out of my brain. La 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 la. Eden, love Eden. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine, Wormy. That's exciting. It's exciting that you'll be in a new location. Think of all the new opportunities. It's fucking hype. Um, anyway, that's what's been going on with me. I finished Scrubs and I slept a lot. I had a glass of wine during Mostly Walking. It was a really good episode. They played AI Dungeon and oh my god, that shit is ridiculous. Mm. Hey, Uncle Travis. So how are you guys doing? I'm gonna boot up the game very, very shortly here. But, you know me, I want to see how you're doing, what's going on in your lives. This is our catch-up since last we saw each other. For some of us, that was literally just last night. Like, I saw you, <laughs> I saw you not even 12 hours ago. Or not even 24, it's been 12. That pictures they could post not outside? Cool! Yeah, feel free to share. I'd be interested to see what your digs are gonna look like. Exciting times for you. I saw that. I saw that as I was getting ready this morning, Uncle T. I'm glad that you're glad about it. Because, you know, tech takeovers are sometimes like, it's like touchy subject and people have feelings about big companies. I, uh, well, that was not what I meant to hit, but hi, Kandarian. <laughs> I clearly have feelings about uh, Google myself, but positive ones. I love my. I love that everything is like universal. I can get my bookmarks on my phone. I take a picture, and it's just in the cloud. It's just saved while I'm out of space, so I have to go through that and like delete a bunch of shit. But most of them are there. <laughs> most everything is there, and. Uh, you know, all my passwords are saved. I'm just like, Google, I don't even care that you spy on me. Just own my life. I don't give a shit. You make things so much easier for me. If I search for a Google Maps route on my computer and then leave the house, I can send it directly to my phone. And that's so awesome. That's so good. In this case, things are good. Still employed. Got a good deal out of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. can't see the address, it's just a house to most eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And especially if you put it on Discord. Then, you know, I doubt anyone from our Discord, like, because that's an extra step, right? That's kind of how I feel about it. I, I'm willing to put information that's a teensy bit more sensitive on Discord because I feel like... <laughs> eh. If you've gone out of your way to join the community when I'm not live, you're probably fine. You have a Pixel 2? Yeah, I've got the 3A. Greatly enjoyed my phone, even if Uncle Google owes my soul. <laughs> yeah, hello, I will own your life now. Yeah, you're, you're Uncle, Uncle Google. Um, well, and it's really cool that the glasses could now have that sort of integration. I don't know, that's the immediate thing that I thought. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's super useful. Dirty Uncle Google tea. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that is, that is getting complicated. It's okay though. I'm gonna boot the game now. I'm gonna boot the game now, she says. I also have, ooh, from the library, I get, I got uh, Cibola Burns, which is the fourth book in the Expanse ready for me. So once I finish the Vaginal Fantasy book tonight, I'm definitely going to start that one. I'm very excited. Also, if we do not finish Outer Wilds today, I'm not playing it Thursday. Um, I will still finish it, of course, but... We'll have to wait till Sunday because tomorrow 
is baby's first Kerbal Space Program, and I'm not going to reschedule that because I was hyping it up last week. I honestly did not think Outer Wilds was going to take me so long. I'm not upset that it's taken me longer than uh, I anticipated. Um... But yeah. When I was setting the schedule for this week, I was like, I don't know, how long do I think it'll take me? And like the longest hours logged on how long to beat are like 30 hours. So I was like, okay, 30 hours, and then I subtracted how many hours I had at the time. And I was like, so I'll probably, f I'll either finish it Sunday, totally didn't happen, or I'll finish it like partway through Tuesday. <laughs> I think it's gonna take me at least the whole day today. That's my guess. Hey, Shuggy, how you doing? Finishing today is questionable, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm not opposed to playing it again on Sunday. If if that's what has to happen, that's what has to happen. Um, it's so new that I don't even know enough to leak information. <laughs> it's funny. Thor! Thank you for being a patron of the hype for ten months! I hope you enjoyed your parade, and here's your royal salute. How are you doing, dear? And did you get, uh, did you get your magnet? I've been slowly getting DMs with people showing me, like, look, I got the thing you sent me, and I'm just like, yay! Also, I have, you see this big lump on my forehead? Just to switch back here for a second. I have a pimple there, but like, the flesh around it is so, I have, like, my scar. This is my scar. That's permanent. Since I was, like, third grade. But this, you see, there's, like, a shadow here. for Because it's all, like, puffy all around it. It's acting like a bug bite. And I'm like, what is going on? Um, and Kandarian, I will show the ship logs when I get in. If that helps you at all. You got yours? It's on your mini fridge. Yay! got your vacation monies. Ooh. No magnet here yet. Okay, let me know. And if it doesn't arrive, I'll just send another one. I'm like the lumpy head, I know. I was like, what the f- Why? Is there tracking? No, because international, since it was in an envelope, it was just, I didn't have to do like special international. They just have international stamps. So I just bought a special stamp. Um, I know the ones that went to Canada have arrived. So I'm not like worried about it yet, but I was just curious. Okay, so first things first in the game, I will show you all my ship logs so you know what I've seen, where I've been. And then I will discuss what I'm planning on doing today in the game. This first, because I've made that mistake before, and you cannot get back in your ship fast enough before you uh, suffocate. Okay, so this was the only new thing that we found. We found the vessel. I found the derelict know my vessel deep within Dark Bramble. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. Couldn't figure out how that worked. The sun got very angry and exploded before I got it to really do anything. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the Eye of the Universe. Did I? The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. There's more to explore. So I'm gonna go to the vessel first, because I... I don't think I got the signal. I, I read a thing that said they found the signal and jumped. The, the vessel. Um, and Thar, I might have put my re 
return address on yours? I didn't put my return address on everything. Um, but like Simon, I was sending him a like larger package with something that I crocheted in it. So I was like, this needs this needs my return address on it. Um so yeah, I'll I'll let you know if I get it back and we will deal with it. Or it'll just arrive to you. I don't actually know how long a letter would take to to get to you. Um but I think Sudzo, who is in Canada, just got his magnet, so soon. So here's all this stuff. We got Gravity Cannon, Quantum Tower of Knowledge. I went I was up here. I got up there. But I still don't understand how to get onto the moon. I know my hypothesized the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic mechanics. Yeah, I found this thing. Which was where? I don't remember, but... Um... Lake Bed Cave. Coleus. I still haven't figured out where he is. So, I haven't been to the Quantum Moon, or figured out how to get that to function. I tried hopping in the ship at, uh, Brittle Hollow, and trying to wait for the moon to be right overhead, and then flying it out, but that, like, never occurred, and I, <laughs> like, wasted a whole cycle. I was just like, rah! Never found Coleus, although I do believe that I was in the lake bed cave and saw all the things. I went back, like, at least twice. I think I had, I had a dream about this game. And I, I had a dream that I was on Timber Hearth or something. Because this says the sixth location, and it said something about, like, the shrine has to be in a certain position. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, how am I supposed to... If there's a shrine on the moon... How do I make sure that it's at the south to get to the thing? Does that keep me from landing there? I, whatever. So I had a dream that I found like a mask symbol and I like fucked with it and like turned it upside down and I was like, and now I can get to the moon. <laughs> what did you see? I don't remember. The fucking anglerfish, nothing important. It was like filling up with sand and it was annoying. Uh, so yeah, anglerfish, fossil, apparently there's more in Sunless City, fuck you. This still has a question mark, so I guess I'm not done with that. Or the forge, I don't know what more to do with those things. Um, we've got a ruptured core, and the, the, uh, interloper scepter thing. We got Ash Twin Project. Statue Island. Um, we found Feldspar. Still don't, you're probe tracking. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. Probe tracking modules receiving data. Computer reports the module's missing. I saw it through a projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. Right, right, right. Giant's deep. Okay. Um... So yeah, uh, so first thing I'm gonna do, here's my plan for the day, because we have a lot of little things, little, little things. I have no idea how to get to the quantum moon, so I'm ignoring that for now. I wanna figure out how to get onto the sun station, because the place I thought was the sun station was not the sun station, and I have two theories as to what that place was. Um, but both of them are very, like, end game stuff, so that's, like, the very last thing that I will do if I feel like I've seen as much as I can possibly figure out on my own, or I've seen everything that I have the patience to see, then I'll, you know, do endgame things. Question mark means you haven't been there? That's not correct, because I've been to the sun station many times. Oh wait, no, that's the sun station. I was thinking Whitehall station. I was thinking Whitehall station. I've been near the Black Hole Forge. I've made it go up, but I couldn't figure out how to actually get to where it was. So I suppose I could go back there, but like, blech. I've had just about enough of Brittle, Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin. I'm just like, if I never have to land there again, the happier I will be, because I spent so many, like I spent full days doing nothing but going there, 
trying to find all the things. Especially the one that's like, hey, Sunless City, bitch. And I'm like, what more could there possibly be? I was so thorough. Um, so yeah. Those are things. So the plan for today is to go back to the vessel and see if I can figure out the, uh, the pillar in the center of the ship. And the, the, uh, the way I'm going to go there is just... Um, I'm gonna go... I'm not gonna bother going to the grave first. I'm gonna go to the fish eggs and then veer off northeast and hope I find it. Because I think I can use thrusters over there and it's okay. A sunless sea. I still had like 40 hours in that game. That was a good game. I just never got a win condition. Hey Simon, how you doing? So yeah, vessel first. Yeah, I know I'm out of storage, stop it. Um, vessel first, and then I'm gonna go back to Giant's Deep um, and go back to Bramble Island and see if I can figure out how to use that frozen jellyfish to then get, like, see if I can figure out how to use the jellyfish to get into the core. And then maybe other answers will unfold before me. You hate Dark Bramble so much? I don't... I don't mind Dark Bramble so much. I don't like... So, listen, I know I've got 22 minutes per cycle because I'm smart and I figured that out myself. <laughs> um, but the Ember Twin filling with sand and Dark Bramble collapsing and, like, pieces falling into the... I might be able to get to the forge if the forge falls in to the black hole, but I don't remember if it falls in. Anyway, um, I just had a thought. But yeah, the b fucking dark, uh, f Brittle Hollow collapsing and Ember Twin filling with sand are both so entirely way too fucking stressful because it's actively hindering my exploration. So I feel like an intense sense of a time constraint way more than the sun getting mad at me. Don't avoid the endgame place. If you know how to get there, then you know enough that it's not a spoiler. Okay. All right. The anglerfish can heck themselves. They can shuck corn. Because they're dicks. Um, so yeah, if I can figure out how to get to Sun Station or Quantum Moon before I go to quote-unquote endgame place, then I'll do that, but... I'm, uh... Hey, Ignat, how are you? The nuclear vessels. Vessel? Vessel? Okay, I did not start my retro burn way... Way, 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 not soon enough. My bad. It's fine. Not a big deal. Maybe lurkier than average muscle aches are particularly not good. Aw, Simon. Poor little beeps. Can you say how you got there? No, in case I can't get back because I can't actually get there or don't know how. Or where's there? What Which there were you referring to? If you mean sun station or the place that I thought was the sun station, then no. No, because I haven't been to sun station, so I don't want to know how you got there. So, I had an idea of how to get there. I've got two ideas on how to get there. One of them's way more dangerous and probably not the way you're actually supposed to go. <laughs> I do wish I could see a little bit better in here. Always watching. 
You take good care of us, Simon. Okay. Now I gotta line this up. Because here comes the scary part. Oh god, it's fucking nerve-wracking. I'm totally gonna touch its dangle! No? Ah! <laughs> His heavy breathing scared me. No, I don't want to touch the dangle! That's how I get chomped! You also get chomped if you run into his butt. His little Asari head. I keep calling it an Asari head because they look the same. <laughs> oh, Uncle T. That is what I said, isn't it? They're dead? That's how that clip ended. <laughs> this still, this makes me so nervous. Ew. Where are those guys even coming from? Those centipedes? Oh, Kandarian. Oh no, you did not! Okay, so... I've gotten here now. And I think this is fine. Now I think the other direction that I was supposed to go in was like... Here? But I'm going to shoot a probe. A shoot a scout. Okay, that's the seed. I just wanted to make sure that wasn't a fishy. I hit the top of the- oh god, oh, that fucking scared the shit out of me. Yeah, Uncle Travis, no! Simon! Jesus! Why is Chad always out to get me? Oops. We're all so freaking rude, man. I don't think there's fishies in here. I think I can just go. Those spikes certainly did startle me, though. this one. But I don't remember. Well, I don't want you over there. I wanted you in the hole. Oh, hello. Am I just going in a circle? Because my scout just went past me. Alright, so that's a yes. So I guess it's this one down here. That's the only problem with, uh... Well, that's not helpful. It's the only problem with, um... Not going to the grave first, as I don't have a signal to follow, so I'm just guessing. Hello, Sir Fran- <laughs> ah! No, that's wrong, that's bad. Okay, I guess I'm going to the grave first, cause... Hot diggity. <sighs> Where the fuck? Oh, 
I don't think there were any in here. Now I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I don't remember. Maybe it, it didn't have a light? Maybe I do have to go to the grave first because I can't figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I thought this was the right direction, but maybe I went the wrong way because it seems like I was looping on myself. Nope, there's a seed there. Okay, hang on. Well... Wish me luck. I'm gonna come in here, cause fishy! Spooky fishy. Yeah, I don't know if it was actually in here or not. I feel like I'm lost now. Yeah, Scout's just above me. Yeah, that's not right. And is that a fishy? That, I think that's a fishy, though. Why is it going down there? That's not where I told you to be. Guess we'll find out. You fishy? Let's I think I, I think I'm lost. Did a new mistake? Had to call in the fuel rats? Well, I very nearly did the other day. Don't feel bad. Where the fuck... Was this shit? All right. <sighs> Rather than spend time being frustrated, let's re just reset. Let's just reset. I'm gonna go to the grave first so that I have a signal to follow. Cause if I'm just looping back on myself, that's not helpful. So yeah, it's not exactly the fishies are giving me a hard time. I was just trying to cut time so that I could have more time in the vessel. Just like intercourse. I want more time in that vessel, BB. Just like intercourse. I love penis vagina. Suck it, suck it, suck it hard. Thanks, Beam. So yeah, we'll go the, the slow way and go grave first. Grave first, then vessel, once we have the signal locked in on the vessel, because otherwise I guess I can't see it. Although I know the first seed after the eggs is was correct, because that's exactly what I did uh, when I was there last time. All right, then. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to use autopilot so I can finish my tea while it's still vaguely warm. Are you gonna bring me right into the sun? Because please don't. Listen, I love Sky Orb, but this one's mad at me. You'd totally be a part of them if you had the game. How do you get fuel? You can shoot your fuel into space. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I've never fully run out of fuel. But I believe that you can... Autopilot's just warming your tea for you. It, well, that's nice. Um, I believe that you can... Uh, still use your thrusters, it's just the fuel is used for jumps. Limpets? Oh yeah! They, they shoot limpets at you. I forgot. See, I've never had to call them, so I didn't know how it worked, but now I'm thinking about it. There are also repair limpets you can shoot at your friends and be a cleric. Oh shit.
I'm glad I remembered I almost went right to the fishies again. And that would have been the opposite of what I was trying to do. turn my fan on. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Mighty Monarch. Yes, space cleric. I want to be a space cleric. I want to be a space cleric. Oh. <sighs> All right. Spooky. Don't like it. Okay. That's not the right spot. Now, here's a thing. I feel like... If I could just find the... Yeah, the lights are going this way, up the curly twirly. So I don't actually have to go to the distress, distress beacon. Because it's right here, uh, the grave. That's a lot easier than going all the way to the ship. So I'm gonna come over here. We might get really awesome music. And I'm gonna unbuckle. I've got my suit on, excellent. Because so I have to manually shoot a scout into this hole. Um, ex my ship is in the way, excuse you. Oh, my ship is, it seems like it's taking part in the graveyard. That's so, so sad. really not helpful. Can I go backwards? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm trying to go backwards to get... There we go. There we go. Okay. Turn your fan on when I'm on already, Thor. <laughs> okay, so now here's where the fishies live. <sighs> Super nervous. Are you ready for the most nerve wracking part, other than that part where I just literally screamed? <laughs> I always put my hands up. Put my hands up to play in my song. <laughs> the angler flesh float away, flesh. The angler fish float away. Moving my ship like. Ah! Reaching these eggs like. Ah! Yeah, 
baths are. I didn't even think about that. We're gonna find out what's in the butthole today. We found the center of the butthole. Or what I'm deeming the center of the butthole. Theoretically, I think this is the center of the butthole with all the fishy eggs. But the center for me, well... Is where the vessel is, which we found, but I didn't get all the way there. But we found the answers to many of life's buttholes. Many of Dark Bramble's buttholes. <laughs> Thank you for that quote, Simon. Okay. I'm not going to use my thrusters until I am inside the egg cluster because I just get nervous. I will let them bonk me. What are those centipedes? Why are they floating here? How did they get here? Okay. So now the scout is over there. I don't trust that there's not fishies is the is the problem. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get around here without using thrusters. I think it's safe to use my thrusters on this side. This is exactly what I did last time. Oh, I hear one breathing. Ooh. No thanks. Alright, I'm safe. Or maybe that's me breathing, I don't know. This is exactly where I fucking went! But I didn't like that I didn't have a signal up. This is some bullshit. Th that's exactly where I went, though. I went to the fish eggs, and then I went over to the northeast, which is exactly what I just fucking did! That, to me, is frustrating. I shouldn't have to go to the grave first. I've been here already. I should just be able to go if I know the holes to enter. Cool music, though. Thanks for doing your job, little scout. Now this is gonna be, I'm gonna be a little bit frustrated because I hate not being able to properly just like sit on the ground. It's fine if my ship doesn't sit on the ground, but me personally, I'm gonna hate it. I clipped my little parody. Oh, come on. Thank you, I appreciate it. Huh. All right, now where the fuck? So I've been here before, and we found this little thing with a small ball and big balls, and who put the fishy eggs in the butthole? I, I don't know, man. Seems like a weird choice. And I have gone down there over there. Anglerfish float away. Doesn't help the reflections look like eyes. Yeah! They're all rude. Okay, I'm relatively straight up and down here. So this is the spot that I tried to get to, or tried to figure out last time. I have a feeling that if I do something correctly, that this spot right beneath my feet will do a thing. You just played this two hours ago? Yeah, I was here last at the end of last time. And I couldn't figure out how this worked or what, like, what exactly I was supposed to do with it. I tried moving the ball inside up first, which I feel like maybe still is a thing. So I'm gonna try it with the thing on the inside empty. 
or I'm sitting at the bottom. I'm gonna go, unless there's a pattern, like an order I'm supposed to line them up in, but I don't feel like there is. Because it did not indicate to me that that is the case. And I'm not moving as violently around, so that makes me happy at least. I hate not being able to just sit up straight, dang it. But at least I've got plenty of time. So I around all three sides, and then it goes into the floor, and I don't... I don't see any changes. I could come down here and see if this... If it changed anything down here, but I really don't think that it would have, because this was all just information. Well, maybe. Maybe it does if I do all the stuff up there. Because this looks like it's meant to project a thing. Rather than just like, hey, I have the universe symbol. Let me reread this just in case real fast. Signals, older. Everyone prepare to warp. We need to send an outgoing message. Don't have time. I understand. Coordinates, it's powered. We'll need to recharge. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, bye. So that doesn't help me at all. Doesn't help me at all. Don't say anything. I did not ask for any tips, or hints, or guesses. This is my playthrough of the video game, not yours. Just to remind everybody. I'm gonna move this up. Now, did this do anything? Can I pop this back in here? Even if it's broken? Haha! <laughs> oh, not you! Get out of here! Vagina! Vagina! Here's a tip. A money tip. A money tip. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. Well, okay then. How did that change? Oi. So yeah, last time I was here, I was trying to figure out how this pillar worked. And the sun got really mad and exploded while I was trying to figure shit out. Get back in there. So I think I've done all with that that I can do. This either goes up or down. I think that's probably the controls for, like, flying the damn thing? So what now happens if I put this here? Nothing. What more do you want from me? Still nothing down here. Okay. Maybe I missed something up top, or maybe I'm supposed to put this in the middle spot again? Can I interact with this further at all? We know that this is broken. It's like very fucking broken. Hmm. What happened to your arm and your the rest of your legs?
maybe so yeah, I've been here before and I read all of this this was like super long Here's the message universe is dying here's some other option blah 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 we read all of that We read all of this over here. I'm a big fan of- Get out of here! Recall this damn thing! Get-, get. Go away! This is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly. Used with local environment. Blah, blah. Yeah, we read that as well. what to do now. I guess I could... I'll walk around the rest of the ship and see if anything changed elsewhere. Um, maybe it opened doors now that it's like as powered up as it can be. I'll go check the outside a little bit more. But I don't know. I don't know. Everything else was closed and, de and a dead end. I'm gonna go right up to all the doors though and be like, Hello, would you like to open for me? No. Bonk. It did not. Did not wish to do that. Hey, Anomnia, how you doing? Lick. So I'll come back down here. It seemed a little weird that this would end in a dead end, but I did come down here before. Yeah, none of that is open. Okay. So I'll go take a look at the outside and see if that did anything out there. And then I might ask for a hint because I feel like... Or I can just look at my logs. I feel like there's more here still, but I don't... I don't understand what... I can possibly do other than slide the balls back and forth. Yeah, I know how that sounds. Just slide the balls back and forth and... Like, see... But I, I haven't seen anything change. I lit up the bit in the center, or like the three-sided thing, and nothing else happened. I checked around this beacon before, but we'll check it again. I didn't see anything. Oh yeah, slide those balls. Slide those balls. I slid the balls everywhere. Slid them left, I slid them right. Slid them up and down. Okay. I don't see anything there. Unless... wait a minute. Is this the same entrance that I was just at, or a different one? I think it's the same one. But now I'm confused because my ship isn't there. No, this is, this is the same one. Let's see if maybe there's another crack? Heh, <laughs> crack. Like, maybe there's another entrance to another different part of the ship? Or something? Because I thought putting the warp core in, even though it was broken, was gonna, like, do a thing, and it totally did not. Can I climb into the ship's booty hole? Yes, hello, well, uh, Luke. Is what getting clipped? Oh, that's, that's totally generic for over here in Omnia. Hey, Norm, how are you? How? No, the sun is angry already! Motherfucker! You piece of dickhole! Ugh! This, this, this. I came over here as fast as I could. I don't 
don't see I don't see anything else. I don't see any other place to enter. I don't see any other holes. The sun is just really angry. I'm just as mad. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I don't understand what that main console wants from me. I don't get it. Don't understand it. Let's see if I can use all my oxygen as fuel before we get there. Yay! What's that over there? I mean, I guess I can look in there, but that doesn't look like there's anything in there. I'm not microwaving any strawberries, ever! <sighs> so what are my options here? That didn't seem to affect anything. <gasps> Quiet repentance, hello. Helped you a lot. Uh, is it like a general game tip or is it for that specific area? I'm gonna go look at my ship log. So if it tells me there's more there, which I'm sure it will still then I will maybe ask for help. Okay, it's got a new thing. The vessel's warp core is long dead. That's it, that was you. okay. That was it. There was nothing else, that, it, that made it seem like if you make all these things go nice and bright, that there's extra stuff. So I guess that was it. It was just put the thing in there, a game tip. Um. Sure, go for it. I don't feel like I need it, because I've played a billion T hours already, but maybe I do. Go for it, it's fine. I must have weak lungs if you die five seconds after running out of oxygen. Well, the sun was going to explode anyway. And besides, I'm a weird, like, alien creature with four eyes. So maybe your lung capacity is just not great. Also, I think I was, like, in space or some shit? I guess I was still in the space suit. So yeah, there's, uh, that's, that's all that was in here. Guess that makes me feel nice. Still thinks there's more in the Sunless City. Um, I guess I'm gonna go back to Giant's Deep. Because, again, that's the only spot that I have a clear idea of where I can go. I did not know that. You can mark a point of interest location on your HUD works the vessel. That's cool. That's cool. Well, according to the log, I've seen all of the vessel things because I tried to put the warp core back in. Even though we read so many different documents saying that it was broken and like it was visually very broken. So I didn't feel the need to mess with it, but I was like, well, it has a little marker, so I might as well touch it, and that's apparently all I needed in there. But yeah, how do you do that just out of... Oh, a space, lark, mark location on HUD. There we go. <laughs> that's funny. Like, hey, sun station, you wanna... Yeah, I have a feeling, woo! That I know a thing. There's more to explore here. So I don't know if this means on the moon? I'm not gonna get distracted. Not gonna get distracted. Quantum caves. 
Yeah, Ember Twin. I don't want to go back to Ember Twin. Fuck that shit. I will eventually, probably. And I forget where this is, but this I can- I think I can mark. Yeah, this I can mark down. I'm gonna go to Giant's Deep, because I want to figure out if I can get in that jellyfish. She will totally get distracted. Uh, see? I got distracted. I didn't put my suit on. I've gotten better at looking for the HUD for, to have, see if my suit is on, though. Oh, like a butterfly! I mean, there's a lot of little spots still for me to go, so it's really easy to get distracted. Because I'm trying to keep, like, mentally keep track of all the little pieces that I still have yet to deal with. Yeah, I'd totally go over to a space butterfly. If I saw a space butterfly... I'm not going anywhere. I'm going straight to the space butterfly. All right. Getting distracted is a good thing. Yeah, but I've I've seen I think, again, playing blind, so I don't know for sure, but I've seen a majority of the game already, so I'm not really served well by getting distracted. Also, so that it's easier for me to keep track of where I've been and, like, the mental mapping of all the different locations, if I don't do it as methodically as possible, that becomes much harder. All right. Hmm. I wonder if this has a similar thing. We're, uh... But we're gonna try and get into Giant's Deep Core. Whoa! Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. So I gotta find Bramble Island. Uh, I kinda wanna go see Gabbro because Gabbro's the one of the only ones who knows. Just real quick, while we're here. Who knows about the time loop? I expected Feldspar to say something about it, but he did not. They did not. I was doing really good on the theys, and then the Nomai were like, he, she, and I'm like, everyone is he now. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, pal. Nice weather we're having, huh? Wait, have I used that one before? What's up? How do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Jellyfish were the only part of the game you had to Google. I mean, I've had little pieces of help from chat. I'm really glad I don't have to Google, because when I Google things, they tell me way more- Wait a minute! Oh... Are you- <laughs> No! I didn't want to meditate through the whole loop! Oh... He told you- Yeah, but I figured it would take some time. I didn't realize it was gonna take the entire cycle. <laughs> Fucking rude! I didn't even get an achievement for that. Meditate until the world ends, and it's like, no, it's not special. Gabbro does it all the time. Whatever, bro. I'm like, okay. Freaking rude, man. Alright again. Hey, Neko. I said it would be the next cycle before you knew it. Uh, before I know it. Yeah! 
like I said, I thought that it was definitely going to take some of this cycle. I didn't realize he meant all of this cycle. Oh, hi, Quantum Moon. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Give me your secrets! So, I'm hoping that when I get to the core, I'll figure out how the fuck to get to the Quantum Moon. Because I still don't understand how to get there. Like, I know stuff about what to do once I'm there. Because I was at the quant- I thought the Quantum Tower of Knowledge was gonna be like, you must be in a Nomai ship and do like XYZ. It was not like that at all. Does the core schlorp? We've never been in it. Why? How would I know? Wonder if there's a point to being able to do that? Hey, Zuffle. Being able to do what? Meditate until the cycle's over? I think it's probably just to be cute. Oh, how do you like that? Eh, <laughs> retro burn. So let's go back and talk to Gabbro again. This time I'm not gonna meditate with him because that's not what I was trying to do. Eh. Womp. What I was trying to do was just, uh, I was just like, ooh, this is a new thing we haven't done. So I was like, he. Yeah. So I was like, I will try it. Now, I found stuff. If it isn't my time, buddy, how's space treating you this loop? I want to know how he knows about that. It, m it must mean that he... How they know about that. They must have found a mask. I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Did you not pair with a statue? How do you know we're in a time loop? I squeeze your head. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me kind of- looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Okay, Gabbro, I like you. Everything is a friend. Memory friend. Hello again. Again. I found something. Know my masks inside the Ash Twin Project. That's what I thought. That's what I thought that place was. I was right. I thought it was one of two things. More likely this one. You're saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time? I guess that makes sense, considering we both have our memories of every loop we've gone through. Wait, then it's just our memories being sent back in time, not us, right? Then... Are we really experiencing multiple time loops or not? That's pretty deep. Like, maybe our consciousnesses have been through all these loops, uh, but maybe our bodies haven't because technically the loops never happened. Meaning we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool, huh? Hello again, again. I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. That's the cannon breaking apart. Right. We said this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've heard this. Go away, Cyclone! I'm not done talking to Gabbro. Well, I guess I'm done talking to Gabbro. <laughs> I can't talk to him in space, though, which is kind of funny. Again, found something. That was it. Okay, never mind. Well, we got new ship's logs. Um, luckily, my ship is still landed here. That's fantastic. And we're gonna go find Bramble Island now. I'm actually kind of tempted to take a look here. What's the new thing? What do we find? Gabro's Island. Gabro's lounging on a hammock. Gabriel remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes, just like that the time with the statue. Gabriel and I seem to be the only ones aware that we're in a time loop. Okay. 
But there's a third statue. And I'm now gonna be comfortable calling it in the Ash Twin Project, which I was I was at by accident once, so I have not seen all of what's in there, so please keep that information to yourself. Ground control to Major Tom. Why did I hit that button? Oh. Hello, tree. That's not what I wanted. Alrighty. Oh, how convenient. Bramble Island is right here. Now, the hard part of this will be figuring out how to get to this jellyfish. So I've been on Bramble Island before, and I went in here and it made me freaking nervous and I hated it. That's death. This way is not death. Unless I fall in the water, because then I can't get out again. Huh. Makes me nervous. Yeah, I went there by accident, and I looked on the map, and I thought it was the sun station, because we were right next to the sun, and I got really excited. <laughs> but I've never been to the sun station either. Well, in this, the, the sun was really angry, so I didn't have a ton of time. Okay, Cyclone is coming, so I'm actually going to step back into here. So that I can stay within the... Um, excuse. Uh, can't fucking see, excuse me? Maybe this is easier. Uh, where's the jellyfish? I don't see the jelly. Well, now I'm gonna be in the water. Now I'm gonna be in the water, and I don't like that. Because it's really hard for me to get out of the water, but this was actually my second uh, inclination was to go underneath to get to the jellyfish. Am I standing on something? Because I don't see... I hate the gravity on this stupid planet! Now I'm in the water. Now I'm not in the water. Oh, come on! God, this is why I hate this. Because I can't actually get anywhere. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing for it, huh? Go under. Go under, bruh! Sink, fucker! encased in something or if that's a hole. <sighs> this place is entirely frustrating. Mainly because I find it impossible to get out of the water once I'm in the water. Because <laughs> fucking gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the water is d the water is dense. Well, and there's like ice and shit. I can't. Oh, this is so frustrating. Like I can't even keep my head up long enough to keep a clear, clear vision of where I'm trying to fucking be. Oh come on, you asshole. I hate this fucking island. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this island. I hate this place. Everything is hard. So 
like I can't fucking get anywhere. Usually. Okay, this is actually getting me somewhere. Hey, War, how are you doing? I just need to, like, take a minute. At least the island didn't crush you. You know, I almost wish that it <laughs> would have. And said that to an ex-buddy, ate something he didn't fancy, and acted like he was too simple to figure out where to spit it out, not having a napkin. Sink, fucker. <laughs> Tipsy fishes, hello. How are you doing today? Outside of the island being a dick? Ah! That's cool, so you don't have to murder yourself. We found the point of meditating. That's new. That's pretty, that's pretty cool, I like that. Um, yeah, we're having a pretty good day, just hanging out with some lovely people, getting mad at this, uh, this planet and the island, and not wanting to walk on this too much because... I'm worried I'll fall back in the stinking water. I just, I can't get up high enough. I have no idea how to get this, how to do anything with this jellyfish nonsense. I think I have to go over there. Jellyfish! Fix! Get get out of there! <laughs> Can I take... Like a... Why doesn't my ship have missiles on it? I'm assuming you've played this game, uh, Tipsy Fishes? A fantastic name. Negative. <gasps> oh no, have you watched it before? Go away. Maybe there's a top entrance to the jellyfish? Like, if I know this game at all, it's that there's potential- Oh, oh, come back. Oh, come back. Wait, get back over here. You mother piece of shit, motherfucker. Ow! Ow. Ow. Also negative. Don't spoil yourself. Yeah, don't look. Close your eyes. Um, if you have any inclination to play this game, I would legit stop watching. Um, not that it's not lovely to have any person around. Strategy nerd more than anything. Ooh, have you played BattleTech? <laughs> I fucking love BattleTech. Yeah, this game is not strategy at all. I just, I, I have to make the disclaimer. If you don't give a shit and are not gonna play the game, then that's fine. A lot of battle tech. I loves it. So yeah, we have not learned anything new. <sighs> Gotta go back to Bramble Island. That might not be the right thing to do, but it's the only spot other than the spot that's in Dark Bramble with the stupid jellyfish that I know of that has a jellyfish that's not alive, because you can't touch the alive ones, I tried. Unless I could maybe get in it from, by, it, like, in inside of it that way. And, because I touched the top of it, thinking maybe I could, like, ride down on it. It did not like that. It killed me. EU4, I don't know what that stands for. But I'm a big story person. Like, yes, I love strategy games, but I also love stories. So, like, 
Battletech hit a lot of really, really good notes for me. Like, the art was gorgeous, the music was gorgeous, I loved the gameplay, the story was great, the characters were fantastic. Like, just loved everything about it. Europa Universalis. I've never watched or seen that game. Where to go before the thing happens? That, mm, I wouldn't call that strategy. Physically feel your frustration, you're just waiting for me to ask for tips. Well, now I'm not going to. <laughs> now I will never do it, and besides, I'm not... My only frustration is when I get stuck in the water. I hate getting stuck in the water, because I feel like it's impossible to get back out again. Not everyone's cup of tea, best way to put it. When I get the basics down, gotta throw at least 100 hours into it. That's not my favorite thing, I say, but also I have like 240 something hours in Elite Dangerous. <laughs> so I'm not really one to talk, but I had a lot of help from chat with that. Okay, so I didn't see an entrance underneath. I'm gonna see if there's an entrance from the top while I can look at it with my ship. And it looks like the jellyfish, other than that like one little piece of tentacle, is encased in ice. And I don't even know if that's an on-purpose thing or if it's just flipping. Because when I was out here, uh, I did not get any sort of indicator that I could interact with it. So I'm gonna look. Around, it's just, it's easier with my ship because if I fall in the water, then it's not a big deal because I can get back out. It's just when I'm, it's just me and my body that I can't get there. And I did a fairly good job walking all the way around. Right, there's the campfire, which we found before. Oi. Huh. And I might not even need this jellyfish. It's just, like I said, other than the one in Dark Bramble past Feldspar that I know of. stuck. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Oh fuck. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Uh. Hey JP. Elite seems fun as hell. Terrible motion sickness though. Uh, don't look at the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't get, I don't get motion sick from Elite. Surprisingly. Of all the things to make me sick, even like spinning uncontrollably doesn't bother me. Ugh. Come on! Just let me out. 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 Where the fuck am I? I don't even know where I am. I'm, like stuck up against the jellyfish right now? Ugh. It's fine for now. Okay. Hey, JP. Did I say hi? How are you doing? There we go. Ah. Escape. Ack! Have lights and landing gear. That's fine. So what I was trying to do... God, that's a big boy. Part of me wants to try going in there, and the other part of me is like, I don't want to ever go in there. Um... I can try and get around. I feel like the ghost matter 
is blocking me. I guess we'll get out. I'll fix the landing gear. I don't care about the other shit. I feel like if I could just get past the ghost matter... Yeah, that's all death, so like, no way. But there's ghost matter up here. I'm gonna get in the water again, aren't I? No, why? Why? I'm not getting in the water. It's wanted to pull me back down. I'm not doing that. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. You hated the new Ori? Why go 3D? It was always 3D. My copy from Hollow Knight? It's it's not. The, what? I don't understand. <gasps> Some sort of tea in the corner. What kind of tea are you having? Also, that's a weird thing to bring up, but sure. The atmosphere was bland. Hard disagree. Uh, harumph. Okay. I want to go back one more time. Jasmine with a touch of alcohol. Oh. I'm pretty good. I put scotch in my tea once. That was a fun day. <laughs> and by once, I mean I did it more than once. But there was once where I just kept filling up my mug with... <laughs> with, like, whiskey after... After I finished my tea, I was like, mm, how about just a little more? It was a fun stream. It was fine. I didn't get drunk. I was just... Just had a nice little buzz for the day. There's a point when it stopped being tea. Yes, absolutely. Alright, one more time. Giant Steep. I'm gonna go to Bramble Island and see if I can get closer on foot to the ice encased jellyfish and then if I can't, I'm gonna try to get close to the ones that are in the sea and see if I can get inside of one that's alive. Those are my two ideas. I looked around the one on, D uh, D uh, on Dark Bramble, but I couldn't see any way to take pieces of the jellyfish with me. Don't do that. Don't do what? Have whiskey? It was nice. It was a good day. Joy to the world we have blown up. Let extra life commence. We've died in many places. In many odd disgraces. We've become a corpse. We have become a corpse. We've been become a corpse. What tea would you mix with scotch? Or no, it wasn't scotch, it was rye. No, wait. Was it scotch whiskey? Or whatever. It was like fucking whiskey or some shit. Um, but yeah, just Earl Grey tea. Just a little, like, a little splash in there. Relationships.exe? I don't know what that is. Okay.
Gravity cannon! Alright, here we go. Back at it again with the new ship. New ship. I don't know that I would call myself that, but thank you, War. What if I go around that other way? I didn't see anything there with the ship, though. Ah! Goodness grapes, this planet is fucking annoying. I'm gonna do my best to get close to it from this angle before... Cyclones do cyclone things, because apparently I either get in the water or I die. And I hate both of those. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather be killed than get in the water, though. No joke. A whole ass boss. not walk in there. Okay, so I can walk this way. I can't walk through that one. I can go there. Fine. Can go this way. There is more fuel. Campfire! And like... Give me your gushiness. Has anyone ever said that to you, chat? Give me your gushiness. Okay, so if I get too close, I die. So me, uh, so this does not actually lead me anywhere fucking useful. All right. I'll go back around, I suppose. See if I can get... Oh, that's death. This is a lot of death! Oh, don't you worry. It's just some casual death. Ah! Okay, so I assumed that this log was bad. But I can come into this log partially. It's just once I get to a certain point, it's death. Okay, well that was not as useful as I thought it might have been. I was hoping this would have an entrance to Jellyfish Town, but it does not. Okay, so that's fucking not useful either. And that's water. And I looked around the whole thing to see if there was an entrance at the top, and there was not. What am I stuck on? Unless... There is a separate hole somewhere that I didn't see. Because I couldn't get my ship in there. There's no way I'm getting up that. Are you immune to ghost matter? No, there's certain ghost matter that's not like active and you can walk on. That's why you do it with the scout. If the scout has, like, glowing... If the scout glows green, then it's dangerous. See, if I put it over there... The, the green means death. This means not death. Also, fuck you, Cyclone! I'm going to take this opportunity to come over this way. Even though I know I was here already. Nope, that's just the same stinking campfire. That's not where I wanted to be. Okay, I'm gonna fall into the water next to this. Even though I don't like it. Okay, 
I'm gonna try to walk around this way, even though I came over here with my ship and didn't see a Goram thing. And as I thought, it's a big old nothing. So chat. I'm going to ask a yes or no question. Please only respond with yes or no. And only answer the question that I ask. Okay, are you ready? My question is, yes or no? Do I have to get this jellyfish and utilize it somehow? What if I don't know the answer? Then don't say nothing. No, okay. Is it possible to get this jellyfish and utilize it somehow? Also yes or no question, just curious. How am I gonna get it back to my ship? No, it's not, okay. All right. Then I have an idea. Again, don't know if, if this is right at all. But I want to see if I can find a live jellyfish. I need to get uh, to a different cyclone, though, to get pushed under. This one just goes clockwise. This one looks so violent, this giant, giant, giant one. Also, there's no way I'm going to get my ship back. Maybe... Maybe I should just meditate. Because I think trying to get my ship will irritate me. So I'm just going to meditate until next loop. Which is awesome, so I don't have to go back to the main menu. Francis! Come on, man. Gosh, I need daddy. What did I say? <sighs> Back at it again. One more time. So my other inclination is to go find a cyclone. It's going counterclockwise. That's clockwise, counterclockwise. And see if I can get inside of a live jellyfish. I don't think that that's the right way to go about it, but I've only seen two other jellyfish and I could not interact with them at all. You didn't do nothing. You told Anomnia the crystals aren't the are not the actual ghost matter. Please. Keep your deductions to yourself. It's not that hard. Ask for consent first. I will. I will. Wormy, thank you so much for being here and hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. We'll see you another time. And hopefully, we'll get in this core. Get in it! DKP? What is that? Alright, clockwise, clockwise. Clockwise, clockwise. There is my boy. Short me, daddy! All right. I'm now under the current. I see a jellyfish, and I've bonked the jellyfish, and it did not enjoy that at all. 
it mucked up my ship. Hey, you. <laughs> that's funny. You're like right up in there and that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want a ride inside of your tentacles. So if you could just let me in there without murdering me. That'd be great. I'm gonna need you to stop being quite so electric though. Yeah, I feel like I'm not gonna get in there, huh? Ah, ah. Yeah, this seems like not a good plan. And I've tried going in where the jellyfish comes out. And that didn't go so well for me either. Yeah, see? So what the holy fuck am I supposed to do? I don't want to kill it and I don't think I, there's a way to anyway. I'm trying to get underneath it. Yeah, I think just touching anything in here is fucking death. Oh shit. Can I get inside of that? That kind of looks like an opening, sort of? But I can't- uh... This is really hard to keep my ship steady while I'm trying to figure this out. See, it like, opens up like a flower. I'm trying to send my scout in. I think I just- I think I just have to get out of my ship. Aha! It did it! Nope, that's behind it. That's- that's behind it. Okay. Um. Well, bye. I'm gonna try getting in there with my body. It's- I, I think it's the only thing that I can do. Cuz... I- I can't seem to get a scout in there. I- cuz I can't get my ship to just hold still in such a particular position. So... All right. Wish me luck. It's probably a horrible plan, but it's one that I'm committed to. And then once the jellyfish sinks back down, maybe that's how that happens. Maybe that's how that works. But like, otherwise don't touch it. You just gotta get in the really like, Gloop, gloopy ends of its tentacle when it flares out like that. That's my guess. Getting in there is gonna be a whole other fucking thing, though. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, that's really difficult to do. Okay. I don't think this is how you're supposed to do this. But I don't see another way. I'm so close. Oh god, it's going in! It's going in! <laughs> I took too long! Alright, go to the other one! Go to the other one. That's how you do that. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what to do. It's a big old glowy mess of nonsense. <sighs> I 
How else are you supposed to fucking do this? And if the answer is go back to fucking Dark Bramble, I think I will cry. No, I won't cry, but I will be a bit frustrated. Because I swear I looked at that jellyfish. Can I touch that? Stop going so... Mm. I, I just... You, you, you move so fast under the water and it's quite frustrating. Like, I can't control my movements well enough. Nope. I don't think that's how you do that. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's not how I do that. <laughs> Alright, chat. I will allow you to give me a tiny hint. A small hint. And that's- that's it! Cause I don't- I don't fucking know. I'm out of ideas. Out of ideas. You're trying to go inside its butthole. Just the tip of its tentacle. That's it? Just do it? I mean, that's what I was trying- so I was right? But that, I was trying, so I'm just not executing it properly then. Alright, that's valuable. Thank you, chat. Appreciate it. I just keep missing. It's really hard to control. See? Can I get in it like that, though? Like, I just go through it. Am I just supposed to go in it like this? Oh, okay. Well, there it worked that time. I thought I had to go right into the tippity-tippity-tip. But it's just slurping me right up into its body. And now I'm in the head. And I'm running out of oxygen. I can't believe I was right! <laughs> I was like, no fucking way that's right. Ah, that's stressful. <laughs> I'm using fuel to stay up in here. I'm gonna need you to stick that astronaut way up there, Morty. <laughs> How do I know when I'm- when we're out? Or like, when we're in? I guess I'm inside of this now? Alright. Hey Scout, what do you see in there? Probably not oxygen. Oh, there's something over here. I'm so low on air. Oh boy. Well, at least I know how to do it. I thought I had to be way more precise. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Okay, all right. 60 seconds. <laughs> Shit. Too bad I can't... Synthesi Excuse me, where the fuck do you think you're going? I hate being under the frickin' water. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, please. Please, 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 the oxygen in here. Hell yeah, girl! Oh! Oh! Yeah. 
please have trees. <laughs> exactly. All right. Excellent. Hey, Black Ghost, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted to... <laughs> first try. Yeah, our first try. I wanted to put on this so that I have a little bit more time because I have a feeling the sun's about to get real mad at me. Okay. So. I know how this works because I've seen this before. Graph Cannon! Hey, buddy. All right, bring you over here. There wasn't anything to read about it. Still grab cannon, all right. The fuck is that? Well, there's something to read. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. So I suppose I was supposed to get here for... Uh, get, uh, so that's cool. Alright, let me plop over here. Hello, statue. Alright. Ash Twin Project Projection Stone. Oh, there's another one over there. I remember you! Alright, very nice. Thank you. I think we've seen this one before. So I'm gonna be real fast on the reading here. Yeah, it's it's orange. I've seen this. Uh, I have exciting news to prove that Astron Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. I don't remember this. I'm just gonna keep reading it. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. Cool. Okay, so I guess I had not seen that before. Put that down. Launch module! Put it in here! Uh, yeah, I've been in, I've been in here. You guys, please be careful when you're typing stuff about the game. How about you just don't type stuff about the game? Talk about your life instead. Mallow, imagine. Uh, Mallow says, imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? We've read this. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Yup, yup. Anybody else in here? Anything else in here? Oh, hey. I never realized what those did. That's cool. Uh, let me just muck with this while I'm in here. Cause I- w excuse me, come back here. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. I like how it drips. Nothing for me. Okay. Just making sure. Because I don't want to come back in here again. I see two different. Oh, 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 oh! I was impatient, huh? Okay. Haha! -ha! Retrieving data from probe 9,318,130 fucking four. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Holy. I didn't miss some of these in other places due to thinking that it was done doing whatever it was doing. I see you. Oh, 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 oh. That's cool. 
Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched. Way too fucking many. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9,318,054. Huh? How was... How was that possible? Miss Scoozy? Let's read this one again. I thought, wait. I thought the so they found it and then forgot, I guess? Displaying coordinates. Okay, so the coordinates are wobbly bleep bleep. Let's just let this sit here, I guess? Like, can I take a picture? We've got a sideways L, a connect connecty rune, uh, runic X, and we got some sort of fat N. Okay. Thought maybe that would make noises that were oh, excuse me. That were useful to me. Um well maybe my ship will translate that to something that is useful. Uh I think I'm just gonna stay in here. I don't uh I mean I could just end the loop. I'm just worried I missed something. Alright, I'm gonna go back up other side. Non-spoiler gameplay tip. No. I don't want tips. Thank you. Don't want it. I don't... <laughs> thank you for asking, though. Or thank you for asking before I said anything. But yeah, I really much prefer figuring stuff out on my own. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hey, Geology Rock! Hello, hello. Unless she asks for it, tips are considered spoilers. Or, and or backseat gaming. It depends on the, the kind of the tip or hint or whatever. But in general, just let me struggle. Just sit back and enjoy the ride and laugh at my mistakes. Like, that's how I like to do things. Um, so yeah, I think I've seen everything that needs seeing. This makes me wonder if I've missed other text, though, in other spots. But I don't remember where all of these things were, so I can't go back in my brain and remember if I missed things or not, but this is probably the most important one anyway. I think the other one on Giant's Deep, I f read all of them. If there was one on Giant's Deep, I don't fucking know. We're gonna meditate. Um, as a reminder and warning for new friends, we like to suffer here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Simon, can you do me a favor? Sleepy mod is sleepy. It's okay. You're sick. It's fine. Um, will you send me a reminder to change the wording on the spoiler uh, command? So yeah, I, I think... Actually, let me see how much time we've got. I think that took a long enough time that Sun... Yeah, Sun's really mad. I, we're just gonna cut to the chase here and go, um... Until we dead. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, the meditate option is really cool. <laughs> Because I talked to Gabber a bunch before. Um, but he never gave me that, they never gave me that option. Okay. Well, that was a lot of really cool stuff. It did not, however, give me any sort of indication on how to get to the freaking quantum moon, which I was hoping to do before going back to the Ash Twin project. Let's take a look at our logs here. Alright, that's the only new thing that we got! Orbital Probe Cannon has launched millions of probes. Almost a billion. The 9,000,000th 
9,318,045th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The probe tracking module ad automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ashtwin project. So I might be able to find it through the Ashtwin project if I go back there, if I can figure out how to go back there. Because uh, as I said earlier, I went there by accident, so please don't say anything about it. I found no my coordinates marking the location. Okay. And ocean depths. I passed through the electric barrier and reached the coral forest of the planet's core. And it doesn't say there's more to explore there, so I'm assuming that was it. All right. So now, the only things that I've got left. I've got sun station, quantum moon. There's something in here, and that... I, I swear is they it's wrong. <laughs> That's like the uh, the only thing in the game that I'm like, I don't believe you. But I've gotten all this shit. I feel very accomplished. All of this. And then the black hole forage. Ugh. I don't want to go back there. So I think we're Oh, maybe. I could maybe come back here. I kind of want to get to the moon before I go, but maybe I'll get more information. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna, we're gonna go to Ashtwin Project. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what this does. I've never used this before. Meditating to the end of the existence. Yes, it was very fun. Uh, so my map last time I was here said I was right next to the sun. And now it's saying it doesn't even fucking know I'm over there. I'm wondering. It's moving. I'm just gonna go see. And if not, then I have a pretty good plan. I want to get to Quantum Moon. I gotta get to the sun station. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so it's it's leading me to Ash Twin. <sighs> I could try doing Black Hole Forge in the meantime. Because I gotta wait for the tower to come out. Black Hole Forge is tricky. Yeah, I made it go up, and then that was it. That was like all I could figure out about it. certain requirements to unlock the conversation to get the ability to meditate. Huh, I wonder what they are. Is there a reason you always see the explosion first thing when you wake up? Yes. Because that's just how it starts. And it's intriguing. I feel like the sun is close by, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna muck around in... Uh, in here, and then I'll use the towers like I... Th that was my inclination, was that I'd have to use the tower to get there. Okay. Can I give you a funny tip? No, thank you. I don't want any tips. Especially not from new people. No offense. But I'm very particular. Um, oh right, this is Ember Twin. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to the stupid city. What could I possibly be missing? What could I possibly be missing? Other than the, the lake bed cave thing. I will keep the HUD marker on because I have a hard time figuring out what station or what towers are what. And I'm hoping it'll just tell me. Could also try to get to um, Sun Station the same way. Black Hole Forge. Maybe. I see this is connected. You know fucking what? You know what? Maybe I could get there from here. Because I did get there. I did get in the. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot that the forge was like right down there, but maybe I, I think, I think I need to raise the forge first? 
probably question mark and then go down there or maybe not I don't know we can try it both ways you end up finding the Ash Twin Project yourself by accident because I did that too <laughs> I did that too but that son was really mad and it sounded very end game and I was like, I would rather pick up more threads before I have the tapestry woven for me too much. Um, so I kind of let the time run out. <sighs> Fucking sunless city, I hate you. I hate you. I don't know what could possibly be in there. Um... I'm trying to think, because I, I landed on Ember Twin early. I mean, I could fuck around in here. I just don't want to die. I can't, I just, I ha find it impossible that there's anything in there. Don't be chat dwelling. Wima Mkundu. I think it's Wakundu would be plural. It's either Mkundu is both plural or singular, or Wakundu. But I'm, I'm impressed that you remembered that. It didn't contain any spoilers. I don't care. I really just don't like being told things. I'd rather figure it out myself. Hey, Sarens, how you doing? All right, I guess I'll go back in. Oops. Well, by, that was an accident. Excuse you, you asshole. I was, I got really good at that, but not so much anymore. Wait a minute, how did I get back? How did I get to the lake bed cave again? Because that's like, what I was going in there for, originally. I could check over here. Because this was pretty full of sand. God, I hate this place. Like, it's really pretty and whatnot, but also just super annoying. So many falling downses. And I hate it! High Shrine, High Energy Lab. I'm gonna turn that one on as well. Yeah, I didn't, f I don't think I found Coleus, but I feel like I've been at the bottom, I've been through the lake bed. Well, that's not what I wanted. Wyvern says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? Ho 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 ho! Now that's a hot take. How'd you find that entrance? I don't remember. It was a while back. Honestly couldn't tell ya. Went through the bottom path every time. That's gotta be super annoying. No, 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 go, go, smatter. Oh. They can actually come in here. But this is death? Yeah, that's death. There's ghost matter inside. I bet there's something inside that I want to see, but I don't. I don't know how I would get in there. Let me shoot a probe once more. Because I didn't take a lot of time down here specifically because... Um... Because it was filling up with sand and I got really nervous. 
Okay, so there's like a whole thing up there. But if I... But yeah, if I step in there, I'm just dead. Hmm. Let me try closing that while I'm inside of it. Just wanna see what happens. Is there, can I, no, nothing? Okay, all right. Just checking. Yeah, the music is really nice. Let me see if I can get back down in here. This is the only spot I can think of. Oh, look! Oh my goodness! It. Geology rock, thank rocks for this. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the call of the hype. Here is your funky McCat dance. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Asharis, how you doing? Where we at in the game? I rem remind me, and I'll show you my logs. Right now, I'm just kind of passing time until the Ash Twin Towers are up. What's the inspiration for your Twitch profile emblem thing? Reminds me of a cross of Celtic runes crossed with circular Gallifreyan from Doctor Who. That's awesome. So this oh, is the symbol what? for the Court of the Hype. Um, it came from, you'll notice that there is a similar pattern around my camera. You can see it best on, like right on the microphone. Um, and that came from a like elvish Celtic-y inspired stamp that my mom had custom made for me to, that it said my name and like this book belongs to, to like stamp in all my books. <laughs> Cause I'm a big nerd. Um, and I really liked it, so I, I hand drew a version of it. And then because I, I wanted something that's more of a logo than a mascot, like, because I have all the meerkats, right? Um, so I wanted to, and well, I guess you haven't seen the meerkats. You, you will, trust me. Um, but I, I wanted to get something that was that could symbolize the court of the hype as a whole. And since the border kind of goes along with like, I use, here, I'll show you my uh, AFK screen. The background is all like wallpapery. So it's like sort of a royal regally kind of nonsense. And uh, there are the meerkats and all that sort of thing, as well as the, uh, yes, all of the emotes and whatnot. Um, But yeah, I'm more than happy to have people kind of read into it the way that you did, like the Gallifreyan and stuff. Like, that's real cool. <laughs> I like space. I like space things. Nya Chris, hello and welcome. And Tipsy Fishes, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the court of the hype. Here's your dance and your cat dance. The D20 die. Yeah, that is uh, a reward for beautiful bear in a tutu um because he reached the rank of princess in chat and when you reach the, rate, the, the rank of princess i offered to make an emote for you yes i've seen all of doctor who i'm caught up okay so this is where this was uh -huh. That's death. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down. Well, not down down to an earlier round, cause sugar, we're going down swinging. That's just mostly death, but I don't see anything in there that I need. So that's fine. How about across there? So that spot is safe, but I don't see anything. How about up here? Yeah, I don't really need anything. Basically, all that down there is like, hey, would you like to die? And I'm like, not, not particularly, no. 
Um, yeah, like instant death. Okay. Just checking. All right, I don't see anything that I need though, so I'll come back up here and come back up here. Oh, balls, balls! Mm -hmm. Shit! Fuck. Oh, that's Stitch! Right Thank you for the raid! How you doing? Your season behind? Yeah, so Hoovian. I actually thought about... Um... Oh boy, torpedoes away! Meerkats, defend! Defend with your derpy, derpy little faces and your, and your, your dance moves. We will deflect all of the torpedoes with funky dances. Doop, doop, doop. That's apparently the music that goes along with deflect torpedoes. Uh. We will defend our turf from these invaders, these foul invaders trying to take over our turf. I don't think so. I don't think so, mother licker. You don't have those? Yeah, you do. You just used them. I seen them. I seen to my satum. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> good raid, good defense, friends. Thank you, thank you. What were you playing, Stooge? You're doing okay? What were you getting up to? Love how the raid sound always makes her jump. Yeah, it startled me. Playing Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. I'm not familiar with that game. How'd you like it, and what kind of game is it? Um, also, just big warning here. If you have not played Outer Wilds and you want to, now would be the time to skedaddle away. As much as I love having new friends and, like, seeing you and hanging out and whatnot, seeing even, like, five seconds of this game ruins a lot. So if you're planning on playing it, um... I would say now's a good time to <laughs> to excuse yourself. Um, it's a visual novel that has a huge number of timelines. You have to navigate to get to the final ending. Interesting. I like time things. Things that muck with time. That's very interesting. It's interesting seeing how different media kind of... Um, react and like treat it and like what rules they put on stuff i always find that interesting um also hi for those of you who don't know me i'm lecta i'm a variety streamer um i do elite dangerous every monday and wednesday and then sunday tuesday thursday i do blind runs of story-based games twitch sings i've done just dance arts and crafts painting drawing playing guitar just like all sorts of random shit Lots of Elite Dangerous and lots of blind runs of story-based games, though. Those are, like, the big two. This will be heading away because I may or, not, may or may not play this in the future. Totally fair. Will will tell you... Will's actually the reason that I, I picked this up. He knows me well enough. He was like, this game is amazing. You don't want to know anything about it. Just play it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so far, it's very much lived up. But thank you so, so much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. It was good to see you. Hopefully we can hang out in person soon. <laughs> she says soon and assumes, like, not soon. Yeah, have a good one, man. It was good to see you. You think I will play this game, so I'll stop watching? Okay, fair enough, Zephel. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. Hope you have a great day as well. We'll see ya. Yeah, if the word stops, world stops burning for like just five minutes. <laughs> hey, Dominic. Dude, paper books or e-books more? Definitely paper. I prefer holding a physical book in my hands. Um, with the libraries being closed, I've been reading a lot of e-books, though. Really not related to game. Have you seen the physics talk on BBC that explains the science of time travel in Doctor Who and how it's theoretically accurate? I haven't. That's fascinating. We have a Discord chat. Excuse me. 
I was going to hit the button to bring it up, but we have, you can do exclamation point discord if you want to um, pop a link in there so that I can see it after stream. Or if you just want to be in the discord channel. Difficult game to sell people on because telling people anything about it ruins it. Yeah, the most that I would say is that is it is an exploration and discovery game with heavy lore and story. That's it. That's the most that I would say about it. Um, but like Will knows me and my game, uh, what how I feel about specific genres and stuff well enough and like how, what the games that I enjoy the most. So he felt free to just be like, just play it. <laughs> I was just like, okay. <laughs> Smell and tactile feel of page turning. Hell yeah. Also, I have not been drinking water. Holy cannoli macaroni face. Also, I blew past my first break by half hour. Whoopsies. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't even say that, Geology Rocks. I wouldn't even say that. I really, really like going into things 100% blind, though. Like, I don't, I don't want to know. Like, you can tell me the genre of a game, like what the gameplay is. Like, is it platforming? Because if it's platforming, then I probably don't want to play it. <laughs> you know, like stuff like as basic as that. Um, and especially for a game like this. I don't want to give away anything or give people any hints. I'm going to take a very brief break so that I can use the bathroom and stop talking for like five seconds. I'll be gone about two minutes. And when I return, we will keep exploring this area while we wait for things to occur. I'll be right back. Enjoy the tunes. <laughs> 